So the Samsung Chromebook Plus V2 showed up on the scene a little unexpected and just kind of announced out of nowhere. And we got our hands on it and we did the review. You can watch that right up here if you want to check it out. Because in that review, we, we talked about everything, right? We talked about the screen, the keyboard, the trackpad, the, the, whole, the whole shebang. Uh, we did the whole normal review treatment on that device. We don't want to do that here. This is literally the exact same device with a Core M3 processor. And I want to kind of go through a few things to tell you why this device might be worth your money uh, especially when I told you with the original version, maybe it wasn't. In the event that you've already watched that review or you need to take a second and go watch that review, you'll remember that there are a lot of good things about the version two of this Chromebook. And there are some things that they kind of backpedaled on a little bit. One of those was the display. It is lower resolution and not quite as bright, but that doesn't mean it wasn't good. It, it, the device actually has a really good display on it. I, I would love it to be a little bit brighter, but the viewing angles are great, the colors are really good, and the 16 by 10 ratio actually uh, appeals to a lot of people, so it doesn't feel super clunky in tablet mode, and uh, it, it makes it feel a little more widescreen, so you get a little bit, a little bit less letterboxing whenever you're watching a video. So I think they did a lot of stuff right with this. The keyboard was good, trackpad was good, stowable stylus, all good stuff. A lot of aluminum build quality here. Again, I, I refer you back to that review if you really want in-depth stuff on the Samsung Chromebook Plus V2. What I want to talk about today is the difference in processor. And so they've launched a couple different ones. So they've got one with, uh, with LTE support, and then they've put out this version here. Nothing changes in it except for the processor. And now it has an 8th gen Core M3 processor. And it makes a really, really big difference. Uh, my, my main nag with the original version of this device was that it just wasn't quite fast enough. It, it checked a lot of boxes and was a pretty good device, but at 500 bucks, I kind of ended up feeling like I like the original version of this device a little bit better just for all the different things it brought to the table. That all changes with the Core M3 processor. It, this thing gets around 24 to 25,000 on Octane and really I, I've used it at work for the last few days and it works really, really well. Um, the, the problem really comes down to MSRP at this point. This device moves along fast enough for most people to get all of their job done, all their work done, multiple tabs, all kinds of stuff, all the normal stuff that I would throw at a Chromebook, this thing handled with no issues whatsoever. And it was also pushing this monster display over here, which is a Quad HD extended. So you got 4K resolution across the lateral measurement uh, while you got 1440 pixels uh, top to bottom. And so it's a lot of pixels to push. And this thing had no issue pushing all of those pixels and its own display. And so performance was no issue issue whatsoever. The only problem we run into with this one now is MSRP. $599 is what Samsung is wanting for this one and I'm still not sure to tell you, hey, go buy this thing at $600 because there are a ton of contenders at $600 and below. You've got Dell's new Chromebook, HP's new X360, the X2 from HP, the Pixelbook right now is coming down at $700, so just $100 more than that. You've got the Lenovo 15 inch. All of these are eighth gen processors. They're all faster than this one, but I really like the overall package here. And so I don't know that I can tell you at $599 to go buy it, but here's the thing. Right now, you can actually get a hold of this device for $450. And at that price, and I expect that price to come back, probably not just for Black Friday and not just for December, but in the coming months, you're going to see this thing marked down. For 450 to 500 bucks, this thing is a steal. Overall, it's just a great Chromebook, and now that the processor's out of the way and the speed's out of the way, it's fast, it feels really good, the pen works really good, the keyboard feels great, the trackpad's great, the screen is great, and at $450, it is just easy to tell you to go pick one of these things up. But one last thing I wanna point out, with this and every other Chromebook, sure, you're protected against malware and all that kind of stuff because Chrome OS is a signed boot and it's not gonna boot up and run the OS if there's an issue, if there's malware present. And so you're protected from all that stuff and that's great. But just because you're protected from that kind of stuff does not mean that you are browsing completely privately. And so your personal information isn't always as safe as you might think it is. And Chrome OS can't fix that either. But who can is Nord VPN. And so we're glad to have them sponsor this video particularly because NordVPN is available not on just Chrome OS, but on the Android side of Chrome OS as well. So you can actually install it with one account, you can run the VPN through your Android apps. It'll cover all of your Chrome OS usage as well. And you can be sure and know that you are browsing the internet and using your apps in complete privacy. All you gotta do is go to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN, that's N-O-R-D VPN today in order to get started. So let's wrap all of this up. Samsung's Chromebook Plus V2, 
the way it came out before with the Celeron processor is an okay Chromebook. Questionable whether you spend 500 bucks for it. But add $100 add the Core M3 processor, add that speed and the ability to kind of do whatever it is you want to do and not have to worry about how fast your Chromebook is. And then subtract 150 bucks to get you to $450. This thing is easy for me to tell you. If you see it on sale for this price, go get it. There will be a link down below where you can go find it. There's all kinds of places you can get a hold of this thing. I give it an absolute thumbs up at this price. And guys, if you like this, give us a thumbs up down below. Subscribe and until next time, we'll see you.